Hi, I'm Stephanie from One Direction. Hi, I'm Rosie O'Donnell from that show Roseanne. This, this is this is Iron Duck Eyes' most premier and beloved band that we uh, really enjoy sharing musical moments with, called the Berkshire Hunting Club. We have Ryan on drums. Hello. We have Mitch on the bass. We have Matt Brown on vocals of Doom and Glory, and we have Nick ripping it life on guitar. We're kind of seeing this off as the, uh, the, the was it the thousand kilometre scene, I believe, yep. where two bands from interstate bond and create something <laughs> from scratch that we can always remember to our dying days, and it's really important, I think, particularly for the way that. Melbourne and Australian what? music scene is, so we're really proud to be doing this, particularly at a, at a house in, uh, in Frankston this evening, and yeah, it's just fucking beautiful, it really is. <laughs> So what are you guys hoping to get from this tour down there in Melbourne? Um, looking at a major record label distribution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Frankston Records. Frankston Records. <laughs> yeah. um, we're looking for a spot Frank on the Lewis. upcoming Pogapalooza. I think we can make you sing a once a year thing, that would just be brilliant. Mm. But apparently we're just surrounded by deaf old people. <laughs> They're the worst. They're like snakes, can't they just feel the vibrations? And they, just, <laughs> they just assume something's going down. <laughs> It was good. <laughs> it was good. It was good. The NRMA charged us a hundred dollars to do what we could do for ourselves. Yeah. It was a hundred dollar sandwich, bro. Oh, it was good. Um, we got to see the western suburbs of Sydney. We don't get to see very well. <laughs> oh, they 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 fucking suburbs. Yeah, they have postcodes and everything. <laughs> <laughs> So you had to leave Sydney, and it happened. No, no. Well, we had, we had in our minds, but um, apparently there's a <laughs> there's a barrier that stretches out. I don't know how it keeps up house prices or what. So. Who farts the most in the in the car? Mitch. Mitch. <laughs> yeah. Matt mostly poop pants. <laughs> oh shits man. Who <laughs> shit themselves the most? Seriously, man. You like yourself. I should just take photos of my spread arse cheeks. <laughs> They should use it in mental asylums as the new Rorschachs. <laughs> like, yeah, a brown butterfly. Seriously, like, fucking hell. The Gold, the, the, the Gold Coast has got nothing on this wet and wild. <laughs> have to censor this one a little bit. Oh! <laughs> yeah! yeah. Oh. Oh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. T no, please, really. please. <laughs> the sink lines are so realistic. Damn. <laughs> The funny thing about where he has his cock, that's where my cock is. <laughs> yeah. It's like the stink lines are actually scratch and sniff as well. <laughs> and um, they also have two EPs available. So get on their Facebook and their other websites and check them out and buy their stuff. It's all in house. Um, they rehearse in house, they record in house, they make love in house. They let us get in their house and just win it live. They make us they make in the house. house. Yes. <laughs> they make in-house arcade machines. They do it all themselves, press everything themselves, make their own t-shirts, it's brilliant. It's really inspiring. Get the fuck into it. One Direction. <laughs> This is the best. <laughs> this is an ode to Father Haycroft and his belief in um, uh, the Rolling Stones. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Now the Rolling Stones probably wrote all the riffs. And... <laughs> There you go, the bond, the bond of filth and great times through music. How can you beat it, really? I still kind of like the idea of just like. Yeah! <laughs>